Welcome to Engineering is in Our DNA, a podcast series where we talk about the next in engineering that is powering the future of businesses across the world. In this episode, we are joined by two gentlemen who lead the Next Stops practice at Emphasis, Mr. Rahul Sadashiv, Vice President and Head of Solutions and Consulting, along with Mr. Rajat Gupta, Senior Vice President and Global Delivery Lead. They're here to discuss how recent disruptions have pushed the envelope towards innovation in business operations. They will look at the role data plays in this and how Emphasis helps its clients navigate these challenging times and deliver client satisfaction. Today, I have the opportunity to speak to our Global Head of Next Stop Services, Rajat Gupta. In this podcast, we will discuss how Emphasis brings together consulting, innovation, and operations to drive value to our customers. Good morning, Rajat. As always, it is a pleasure talking to you. Good morning, Rahul. Likewise. Before we start, Rajat, uh, can you please define next stops to our listeners? Absolutely. Um, So about three to four years back, we repositioned ourselves as next stops. And it essentially means bringing technology and digital assets in the operations value chain, helping our end clients transform their business and meet their objectives. So that's what Next Stops is. Sure, this context really helps, Rajat. I mean, to begin with, uh, you know, what trends do you see dominating Next Stops in the coming years? We'll surely see several industry-specific problems being addressed through, as you said, right, combination of next-gen solutions. So for us, when you look at it, it started with robotic process uh, automation, uh, lean re-engineering, the whole AI cognitive assets, and so on. And as as a company at Emphasis Next Stops, we've been trying and testing a lot of these solutions in an integrated fashion for some of our key financial services and uh, enterprise clients. And I can I can for sure say in the last 12 to 24 months, we've seen great results, great outcomes being kind of delivered. But more importantly, I see this trend exponentially uh, exploding going forward. Let me come to the next trend. And I think clearly will be data as 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 it's kind of widely reckoned by everybody, data is the new oil. And data is being leveraged to drive business performance, whether it is operational or to get customer insights or to completely redesign objectives in line with what customers want. And linked to the above point, the need to have data security and information security as a paramount uh, kind of action area for us. It's become very important because working in a hybrid environment, we keep encountering newer threats and it's all about mitigating some of those data security threats. Last not the least, uh, we're seeing tremendous traction around contact center transformation, not just the cost optimization level, but more importantly, the ability to drive customer experience as the end customer profile has changed and the way they contact us or the customer channels are rapidly changing, right? So I think that makes the whole CX uh, experience enhancement a big area of influence for us. Absolutely, Rajat. We have observed similar tractions and accelerations in most of our client engagements, right? Now, you know, the question is, you know, why next stops? Or uh, in other words, what role next stops can play in helping businesses be more attuned to the need for speed or let's say you know the hyper personalization need for speed let me start with that i think absolutely critical our ability to adapt to new technologies uh, post covid we are seeing uh, our customers appetite to kind of um, embed these new technology levers or digital tool sets into their environment has actually increased, right? The appetite to to be able to change some of their end client environments has can kind of become much more. Um, Emphasis Next Stops is positioned very well in bringing a combination of domain, technology, 
and, and an entirely integrated solution and not just isolated uh, silos, right? So it's an integrated um, value chain disruption that we've been able to bring in. And as we discussed in the previous question, we leverage data and uh, across customer journey, uh, we look at all user journey insights and deliver hyper-personalized services and experience to end clients. Now, last not the least, I think I see Nextops having a massive advantage. Uh, the fact that we know on one side what a customer wants, what the pain points are, and on the other hand, being a technology company, we're able to use our assets and IPs, use the entire partner ecosystem, the use of hyperscalers, in order to make sure that a client businesses are transformed and they're delivering to C true CX. While this summarizes our position as a credible partner, what are the challenges businesses may face as they try to adopt next stops? Wow, I think last three years, Rahul, as I said, now we've been working with different clients on, on some of these um transformation programs and trust me there are several battle scars massive amount of learning first and foremost buy-in from all stakeholders and whether it's a cxo uh, or a delivery leader in a client organization or it's actually an individual contributor or, or an analyst in an in insurance industry or one of the wealth um, broker dealers that we deal with um, then we look at it, right, an ability to invest or make upfront investments for digital transformation. That is something where some of our clients struggle, right? So they look up to us to deliver something which is a key archetype for us. And we, we've coined it as zero cost transformation or in every way, self-funded transformation. Last, not the least, choice of technologies. Um, often confusing, but it's kind of driven, the tooling choice is driven by the enterprise uh, leader at the client organization. And I think several hyperscalers or BPAS players in the market or platform players, as we call them, um, have great sales uh, abilities. And at some times, I think we, we kind of end up reconciling and be agnostic to the choice of the technology but clients uh, tend to take that decision. True. Any best practices you can share to address these challenges? I think first and foremost, emphasis as well as next stops as, as, a, as a practice team. Uh, when we win in the marketplace, we've seen a trend around 85 to 90% of our transactions are proactive bids. They're not RFPs. They're not kind of competitive in any nature when we start. So we start with, a consultative approach, our ability to co-design a solution to get a buy-in through a design thinking discussion, um, and a win-win approach because we're getting a buy-in from all stakeholders as we are designing the solution, designing the to be state of the value chain, and that's integral to, to getting a sign-off, right? And this also includes the whole um, element of risk, timelines, uh, cost as a parameter, and, and more importantly, information security requirements. Uh, for us in particular, emphasis zero cost transformation is a game changer. And irrespective of project scale, we have several examples at large financial services or enterprise clients where zero cost transformation has been a massive enabler of transformation. And we've been able to flatline spend for the clients which means able to absorb the upfront bubble cost and still deliver digital transformation and, and kind of uh, meet objectives. Last, not the least, as a best practice, it's the accelerated adoption of digital transformation, right? So use cases, uh, we've got sandboxes in the partner ecosystem where we're able to bring in our IPs as well as external IPs in no time and able to demonstrate a model or a proof of concept. And that agility is really helping us win in the market. Now, finally, uh, our mantra, right? Engineering is in our DNA. What does engineering is in our DNA mean to you? 
And how do you see this enabling emphasis to help clients improve their next gen operations? Great question, Rahul. Um, engineering to start with is in our DNA as emphasis has kind of coined our uh, mantra and clearly at the center of everything we do at Next Stops. Uh, what would engineering mean to me as a business leader and a Next Stops delivery head? Uh, frankly, across the ecosystem, across the value chain uh, and our employees, we, we leverage design to solve day-to-day -day end client business problems and use technology across the app's value chain and meet um, objectives for our end customers. So as an applied technology company, the fact that we have our own cutting edge R&D unit, it's called Next Labs, we've been able to bring in uh, tool sets and platforms that are way ahead of the time and help our customers solve business problems, which we ourselves at times thought would be difficult to address. Um, Key for any business operations, Rahul, is scalability and re repeatability, right? Hence, a lot of these solutions, when we bring them together, are not point solutions, but tailored um, using design and business transformation frameworks to, to solve problems not for a client or a, a such situation that the client's dealing with, but from an industry standpoint. So, over the last two years, we've created industry assets, whether it's for wealth management firms or broker dealers or large property and casualty carriers. Um, our technology and domain prowess has helped us create IPs that are repeatable for clients in that industry. And, and clearly that kind of establishing, uh, that establishes engineering in our DNA uh, in a big way across the uh, industry and it's being recognized very, very well. That's Rajat Gupta sharing his views. I'm quite interested to see how this evolves and what lies ahead. Thank you very much, Rajat, for joining us in this episode of Emphasis Engineering is in our DNA. Thank you.